All right, guys. Um, it's been a long time since I have posted anything motorcycle related. Um, but here it is. I bought a Buell. It's a project bike. It is a runner. Um, I'm ecstatic over the fact that I have one of these. Uh, this is a 2004 SB9SX, a street bike, street fighter. Um, it's got some stuff, some gremlins I'm going through right now. Uh, but like I said, it is a runner. I bought this from a vet, fellow vet in uh, Monroe area, Louisiana, and um, rode it all the way to North Texas, where I live now. New house, new garage, new bike, new life, etc., etc., etc. So I am super stoked. Um, I've wanted one of these for a long, long time. So what I like about the Buells is one, it's quote unquote all American. Um, you get the super bike frame chassis and uh, an American V twin all squished together in uh, all its loveliness. I know Buells aren't for everybody, but it is definitely for me. Um, it's pretty dirty right now, partially because it's been a little neglected. I don't go on through it. So I just wanted to show you a few things that I have to deal with. Um, so somebody at some point, I'm the third owner, um, put HID kit in and the low beam keeps shorting out. I think that the one of the ballasts, the low, low beams ballast is um, overheating or just gone bad. Um, I think I'm going to reverse it back to just regular halogens. I don't know. See what I have to go through all this and figure out what what was omitted, what got taken out to put those lights in. Um, I may be stuck with them for now, um, and that's okay. But I would rather have something that works consistently. I just don't need a ticket um, because my headlight is out. Um, I've had one of those before. It was not cheap. And uh, it was just an honest mistake. The other thing, uh, I have some, I, I don't really like these. They're just plastic blinkers. They work, you know, and they kind of match the, the bike. Um, I just don't, I don't think I'm going to keep them. I've got some nice aluminum blinkers I've had for a number of years. Uh, they are bigger. They're probably about a quarter inch bigger and more rec rectangular. Um, I think they'll look okay. I won't mount them if they don't, but uh, I'm definitely gonna give that a shot. Um, <clears throat> so the SX had the kind of like the um, dirt bike hand guards that went over all this. I took those off. I don't like them. Uh, they're, they're, I still have them. I'm just not gonna use them. Took the mirrors off. Um, well, it didn't come with that mirror. I only had one. Uh, so both of them are gone because one I couldn't find one that, that was in good enough shape to replace the other one with. And so I bought some, I'm, I'm getting new grips. Uh, Rinthal, they look, they, they have five star reviews, so they look good. Um, so I'm gonna get, get these replaced and uh, they're gonna be bar end style mirrors with um, bar ends built in, the anti vibe bar ends. So I'm hoping that'll be a good choice. Uh, I had bar end, I had a single bar end mirror, if you remember from my old KZ650. Um, it was good. The single one was fine, except that kind of sucked. I, you know, you have to keep your head on a swivel a lot, right? You do anyway, but you, you especially do if you only have one mirror and it's on this side. So, or even if it's on that side, you're still gonna have to be looking where you're going uh, a lot more than, than typical. Let's see, um, I, so the air box is off. I had to, there's the air cleaner over there. It is incomplete. Um, somebody did some mods on this. 
it's okay, it, it works. I just, you know, it's whatever. Um, it's got a K&N filter. I cleaned it. That, that, let me tell you a little story about that. So I pulled off the, uh, the tank cover. It's not, it's not really a tank cover, but you know, the hood. And there was right here, a massive mouse nest. And uh, I mean massive. Matter of fact, probably still in the trash here. Yeah, that dude was in there. So I rode f five hours with a massive mouse nest in my in my air uh, air cleaner. Um, got about forty miles per gallon, so this side was still sucking good, uh, pulling out of here, presumably. Um, so that's you know. Uh, story in and of itself, but then there's this That's the coil Didn't know that that was like that, you know, and it's not like when you're buying a bike You can you know, oh, let's just pull the whole thing apart, right? I go for a test ride everything's hunky-dory as I'm riding down the road Every, It's smooth as silk everything's running just right. I'm thinking wow, you know, this is great and it is It is great. It's you know a 15 16 year old bike now um, and uh, I, I'm not complaining. So I've, I've got little nitpicky things to do, so I have to remount that coil. I'm gonna get new wires, new plugs. Go ahead and do that while I'm in here. Um, there's apparently on the uh, XB forums, XB9 forums, there's a mod you can do for the air cleaner setup anyway, and, and maybe I can look for a better kit other than that. And that may be the kit. I don't know yet. I'm still learning some things about fuels. So, coming around to the back, it's got the uh, rear fender has been removed. Um, LED light with the blinker built in. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it works, but you, you guys have seen them on the road. And um, some people are, oh, they're fine. But frankly, they, they're not fine. They're not that great. Um, so I'll keep it. It's going to stay unless I can find something better because <laughs> I mentioned they're gremlins. Well, there's a reason they're gremlins. Uh, somebody created these gremlins. They were fed after midnight and uh, they've, they've infested my taillight. Um, the taillight works, but the, the two little LEDs there do not. This bracket, I think, I don't know what it is. I can tell it's homemade. It's fine. I mean, it holds a license plate. It's not like you gotta have something fancy to hold your freaking license plate on, but I don't know. This, uh, this is gonna stay for now. I'm going to fix it if I can. If I cannot fix it, I'll replace it with something better. There's a German part that you can buy that looks really clean. Um, so I might uh, go with that. And uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you about were the foot pegs. They're missing off this bike. No, I did not ride five and a half, five hours that way. But let me tell you about my ride. So on this side, it was a cheap piece of junk peg that doesn't belong to the bike. On this side was the right side peg. So this thing was upside down. And I'm here to tell you that that sucked royally. You wouldn't think, oh, that's not that bad. You know, it's just a, an inch or two difference. Oh no, that inch or two made my foot literally almost vertical as I'm trying to shift, right? As I'm trying to get to the lever and most of the time I would miss it. And so my big toe is just constantly rubbing against this, right? Rubbing through my shoe. And so I got this nice bruise on my toe. That's fun. Um, they got real old. Lots of missed shifts. Um, that wasn't cool at all. Uh, has a minor leak down here coming from the cable. That apparently is a typical issue. Um, there's an O-ring right there, so <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll just crack that open eventually and get it replaced. Um, not too big a deal to me. I ain't scared. Tires are in good shape. Uh, they are Michelin's. Probably around, I don't know, I don't know. The wear, wear indicators are still showing on the center part of the, of the tire, so I'd say roughly 
50% if I'm being cautious. Still okay, you can deal with that. Um, the body parts are pretty jank. Cracked and uh, they're hurting. So I'll be replacing this one. Um, I found a carbon fiber piece and yeah, I think I'm gonna do the whole carbon fiber look on this thing because somebody rattle can this bad boy and um, it's in rough shape. I mean, it's definitely usable, but it used to be blue. So at some point this was a blue bike. Let's see if I can get a close up of the scratches. Yeah, you guys can probably see that. Can it be fixed? Yes, I could probably fix that. Do I want to fix it? I don't know. Oh, I'm freaking answer my own questions. I hate it when people do that, and I'm doing it. Uh, here's one of those guards I was telling you about. Don't like them. They're going on eBay. Somebody will buy it. So I got new foot pegs on the way. They're adjustable. They'll lower down a little bit. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit squished on the bike. Uh, I'm not skinny anymore. So <laughs> I, I want to be comfortable. This bike really suits my riding style. So, you know, lots of low end torque. My gosh, if you don't know about that, you need to know about that. It is and freaking tastic. This thing, this engine is outstanding. I am not a Harley guy. Don't like them. But what Buell did to the Evo V-Twin, magical. It is a wonderful engine. Um, I think it's around 90 horsepower. Somewhere close to that. Feels like it. The torque is, I love it. Uh, the horsepower is fine, right? That's great. But the torque is so freaking fantastic. You know, all my bikes have been Kawasaki's, all of them. And um, I've had twins and four cylinders and two strokes. And uh, this right here is my new fave. I always like the looks of Buell's and uh, I'm in love with this bike. So uh, some cool, interesting facts you may already know. There's the fuel, right? Well, that is the fuel tank right there. Yeah. Fuel tank is part of the frame rail. You probably already knew that. If you came to this channel and you're a Buell fan already, or you just geek out on this kind of stuff, that's the oil fill right there. So yeah, the dry sump is in the rear swing arm. That's freaking cool, huh? Exhaust is down here. It appears to be factory. I'm 99% sure it's factory. Uh, that's gonna stay for a while. Um, but I've been looking at different aftermarket pipes for it. D&D &D seems to be a popular choice. Um, so I may look at that. Uh, I know that there are others. We'll see, don't know. That's, that's down the road. Hopefully I can still find them, you know? Um, I imagine parts are gonna start getting scarce for these, but they are becoming collector's items. And um, I'm just grateful I was able to get one at the time I've been able to get one because I've wanted one for so long. And you know, um, this is a keeper. This is uh, my bike. So um, even if that engine wears out, I'm just gonna either rebuild it or try and find one. Um, I like it that much. I'm really, really in love with this motorcycle. If, if you ever get a chance to ride a Buell, ride a Buell. You, You'll see what I'm talking about. You'll feel what I'm talking about. It just, it's a fantastic motorcycle. Eric Buell, I love you, man. You're a freaking genius. Um, it's an absolute shame that this wasn't as hot as it was when it first came out, you know? I think for me personally, I was just, had my head just <laughs> stuck in the, you know, the the crotch rocket scene, you know, like the Kawasaki Ninjas were, that's, that's, I love, I still love Kawasaki Ninjas. Um, loved those things back then. 
And I looked at this and thought it was the dumbest thing ever, right? But this is not the dumbest thing ever. This is one of the most beautiful things ever. Just my opinion, but you know what? It doesn't matter because I think I'm right. <laughs> so anyhow, it's dirty. Needs a real good bath. Um, great forks, suspensions, incredibly, incredibly responsive and soft, smooth riding, smooth. Gosh, I could just go on and on about this bike. The brakes, phenomenal brakes, right? You guys have all seen the pictures of the Buell front rotor. It's everything they say that it is. It's awesome. That one might need to be replaced. I've got to mic that out and figure out what uh, what minimum the minimum size is for that. I may end up having to replace that. And the rear one looks, sus well, I don't know. It's it's probably fine. We'll see. All this stuff is going to be over time, right? I'm not going to go berserk on this because I want to ride it. I ride my motorcycles. And um, you guys know that if you saw my old other video. So anyhow, uh, so if you're just seeing this, um, stay tuned, subscribe if you want to keep up with what I'm doing to this motorcycle. Um, make sure you give me some suggestions down below if you know a lot about mules and can point me in the right direction on some of the stuff, resources that I need to know about. Um, if you have any suggestions about different parts that I should definitely check out, like maybe different tail light housing or air intake kit, maybe upgraded coil. I'm okay with the stock coil, just saying, but you know, if you find something, I'm totally open. Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. I'm stoked. Um, if you don't like mules, well, I'm sorry for you. Because <laughs> you should like mules. Uh, all right, that's it, guys. Um, appreciate your time.